click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in this video we are going to discuss the properties of probability density function. In the previous video, we defined the definition of probability density function that probability density function is not probability at all, but it is a function in which it is probability per unit length. That is, probability is divided by unit length. Whatever change in the real axis, that change per unit change. This is how we define that this fx of x probability density function is actually equals to probability per unit length. As we know that this probability is always, always less than 1. So it is not necessary that probability density function is also less than 1. It may be less than 1, it may be greater than 1. So, there is no foundation for the probability density function that it is always equals to or greater than 1. Let us look at the properties of PDF. As I define that whenever we are interested in the probability of continuous random variable in between A to B, this continuous random variable in between A to B, I am defining this probability with the help of probability density function that is integration of probability density function in between a to b multiplied by this dx. So this is the probability density function fx of x in between a to b. Now from this property we define this fx of x is nothing but probability per unit length. As the probability density function is nothing but the probability per unit length, this probability is always greater than zero. It means that it is always positive. So I can say that as this probability density function is nothing but the ratio of probability and length or I can say that probability per unit length, probability is a positive function that's why this probability density function this probability density function is also greater than or equals to zero now second point is that as this probability in between a to b this is how we are defining the probability density function with the help of this equation when i am extending the length of axis this is my real axis x this is a this is b when i am taking all the values taking by x from minus infinity to plus infinity then this limit minus infinity to plus infinity fx of x dx will be equals to 1 why is it so because this area this a to b fx of x dx is this area is nothing but nothing but probability whenever i am integrating this probability density function from any limit i am always a to b this any limit i am taking a to b this is nothing but equals to probability when i am extending this from minus infinity to plus infinity it means that i am taking all the cases of this axis all the cases of real axis whenever whatever happening in all the durations i am taking all the duration from minus infinity to plus infinity so when we are taking all the cases of probability it is always equals to 1 the probability of all the cases taking together is 1 we can also recall the probability the properties of the probability that summation of all the cases of probability is always equals to 1 hence i can also say that from minus the area lying under minus infinity to the plus infinity fx of x ds is always equals to 1. One more important case that 
probability of x is equals to the capital x is equals to x it is very interesting property that it is equals to the probability of particular event is equals to zero now let us try to look at this probability in a different manner as we know that whenever we are defining the probability like this with the help of pdf it is defining in this manner when i am taking this case that this capital x is equals to small x it means that at a particular point a this is b so we are actually interested in this particular point so whenever we are finding the probability at a particular point i can say that from x to x fx of x dx there is no change in the length so the probability will be equals to 0 so it is very interesting to know that this capital x whenever this capital x is taking it has to be a continuous random variable so that the probability density function can be defined when we are taking it as a discrete random variable the probability will be equals to zero because the area lying under this probability density function is zero there is no change in the length that's why the area will be zero and this particular this probability at particular point will be equals to zero now let us look at the fourth property of the pdf that probability from x less than or equals to x will be equals to again look at the main equation that probability a to b this is how i am always defining the pdf that probability in between a to b a to b fx of x dx now look at the axis what we are doing we are actually saying that find the probability from x is less than x let's say this small x is lying here and the range is less than or equals to x it means that from minus infinite i am coming from minus infinite to x this is the portion from less than or equals to x so i can say that i am coming the limit will be like minus infinity to x so the probability will be equals to minus infinite to x fx of x dx this is how i can define the probability when x is less than or equals to x similarly if i if i am taking a case of probability x is greater than x it's just an example if i am taking a case of probability x is greater than x then my limits will be from x to infinite in this case the limit will be when a capital x is less than or equals to x my limits will be from minus infinity to x so these are the properties of pdf first one is it is greater than or equals to zero it is always a positive function second one the area lying underlying from minus infinity to plus infinity this is always equals to 1 the pdf is always equals to 1 whenever we are integrating the pdf from minus infinity to plus infinity whatever value area lying under this minus infinity to plus infinity it is always equals to 1 this is very important property then at a particular point we are not taking any range whenever we are trying to find the probability at a particular point it is always equals to zero here the probability is not at a particular point it is in between the range but it is at a particular point that's why it is equals to zero for this probability when x is less than or equals to x it is defined in this manner minus infinity to x fx of x dx so this is how we can define all the properties of probability density function thank you for watching this video stay tuned with ekeda and subscribe to ekeda